In this video, I'm gonna tell you what the RPE scale is and how you can actually put it into your workout to improve your performance. I'm Ross Philippe, I'm a personal trainer and we do free weekly workouts and step-by-step -step tutorials on everything to do with fitness and nutrition. So if you like this channel, please subscribe, remember to click the bell for notifications. All right, so what's the RPE scale? The RPE scale is a scale which allows you to measure your performance, normally on a scale of one to 10, although um, sometimes you can use a scale of one to 16, but I mean, one to 10 is gonna be a lot simpler to use. So if you imagine um, numbers one to 10, very simple, 10 is you working really hard, and one is you doing very little work. And you can use this scale to rate how hard you're working. So the RPE scale is a rate of perceived exertion. One's very, very easy. You can imagine you're sat on a floor and 10 is you really out of breath sprinting and you can really can't keep that going for long. Okay, so 10 is your maximum you wanna be one is you're doing very little and that's all we need to know and anywhere in between is the intensity you're working out you can use this for cardio workouts or you can actually use it for weights workouts as well it's probably used more for cardio workouts actually and um, it's quite a good tool and um, it's used for people where uh, for trainers it's also used for um, people who are working out you can just do it on your own without um, someone next to you helping you you just work out in your head so you might think okay um, I'm gonna do a workout today, I'm gonna to go running, and I want to be on maybe a scale of a five. So five's you know, gonna be halfway, pretty much. So five's gonna be you getting probably a little bit out of breath, but not too much. Is that where you wanna be? If that's where you wanna be, that's fine. If you wanna work on a scale of an eight, you're gonna be working really hard, probably getting out of breath, not able to keep going much further. I'll put the um, picture up now. Okay, so you can see I've got the rate of perceived exertion chart up, or RPE. So you can see it's got different colors. It starts at one at the bottom and it goes 10 to the top. As we mentioned before, 10 is maximum effort, uh, which is the red one at the top, and the one at the bottom, probably one to three, I would say. So the purple and the blue bar would be considered a warm up for most people. So you can see that it's just getting your muscles warm, getting your joints warm. Then as we go up to the four to six, which is the uh, the green bar, which is moderate activity, you can see the description gives you a, quite a good outline of how you should be feeling. Breathing heavily can hold a short conversation. Still somewhat comfortable, but becoming noticeably more challenging. So this would certainly be starting the main workout. This is where most people may be around in their workout they do at the gym. So this is where you can start to think, do I need to push myself a bit more? Am I taking it a bit easy? Four to six, is um, somewhere you could be reasonably comfortable. Now, as you start working a bit harder, you see the next bar up, which is yellow, which is seven to eight. So this is getting into more vigorous activity, borderline uncomfortable, short breath, and can speak a sentence. So you're starting to put a bit of effort in now. This is where you start getting um, results or you start having improvements in your fitness when you're working around a seven or an eight. So this may be where some people stay. So remember, you can rethink how hard you're working. This might be a time to push yourself a bit more if you've been coming to the gym for a few years. Certainly a conditioned user would be around seven to eight. Someone's been going to the gym for quite a while. Now going up a notch, uh, number nine, uh, very hard activity. So very difficult to maintain exercise intensity can barely breathe and speak only a few words so now you are really going for it this is like sprint work this would be for advanced exercises certainly not a beginner and um, really pushing yourself sweating maybe short bouts of work like interval training things like this and as you see top one 10 maximum effort activity feels almost impossible to keep going so this is certainly sprint work, I'd say, or interval training. Completely out of breath, unable to talk, cannot maintain for more than a short time. So that is where you would really be pushing yourself, number 10. So uh, there we go, one to 10, pretty well explained there. Okay, so remember, if you like this video and you think it's maybe helpful for someone, please like the uh, page and subscribe to the channel, which will help 
you see future posts also help me grow the channel and as usual have a nice day Bye -bye.